I started paying astronauts about four years ago. One of my grade school teachers, Mr. Patala, used to take me out to the playground while we were younger and make us watch these launches in Melbourne, Florida. At that point in time, I wasn't so immersed, but I know he was trying to expand our brains and understanding space. Subconsciously, as I became an adult, I started creating artwork, and astronauts was one of my main concepts and ideas. And what I do is I put a bouquet of flowers in the astronaut's hand, symbolizing hope and life. My mother actually inspired me to create artwork and what was happening at the time when I was a child was that my mother was diagnosed with cancer and my father was addicted to opioids so my mother would try to keep us involved in activities throughout the day so we were distracted from the, the problems that we were having at home. and a lot of times she would put art in my hands and colored pencils and try to distract me from what was going on around me. I think at that point in time, I was, I started to grow uh, addiction to art and she saved me, she took me out that problem. Um, and I think that's what we're doing with the foundation is we're using art to take these kids out of their dark spaces. The Space for Our Foundation was introduced to me by Nicole Stott, who also introduced me to NASA and the Kennedy Space Center. When we first met in person, I think our bond was so strong that she saw an opportunity in creating a fundraising event with us. He had painted like a, a spacesuit sculpture somewhere, looked him up, and then I discovered that he was this wonderful artist. I had no idea if he was 20 years old or 80 years old, not a clue. And he, you know, very nicely replied and we had his artwork there and it's just been kind of this really wonderful thing since then. After that event at Kennedy Space Center, we just spoke and they offered that this might be a really wonderful venue for a Space for Art Foundation fundraiser. The way she got my heart involved was that she mentioned that they paint with kids in pediatric intensive care units who are undergoing cancer and other detrimental situations. Me and your Senate decided that we want to work with them full time and create a fundraising event since we have this gallery here in Wynwood, Miami, the White Porch Gallery. Yesenia, she came in at a really great time. Me and Yesenia met about three years ago, and she came in to the point of my career where I really needed help. And it was interesting because first we fall in love and, and we're building an emotional relationship, but we also are building a, a business professional relationship as well at the same time. And I think those challenges and, and those different viewpoints keep us together. Well, Yesenia's role in my art career now is she handles all marketing, she's my publicist, and somewhat creates the culture of the brand now uh, because she knows how I feel about certain things, she knows my ins and outs, and she's able to distribute that information. And she came in at the perfect time. We've been working together for three years and we've been in a relationship for three years. And I think that these challenges help us grow together and also keep us together because it's always amazing to have that sort of action 
pact relationship where it's like we both have these goals aligned and now we're chasing them together. I wanted people to come here and be impacted from not just the artwork, but by other people's energy. And the whole focus was fund the space for our foundation for further activities and projects for these kids. So I decided to produce nine to 10 pieces that could actually be sold and be donated to the foundation. I think Miami is a good space for this. It's now our hometown, so I think that if I'm gonna do anything to improve, uh, I definitely wanna improve my surroundings first. So Miami is my home and um, I wanna improve my community, so that's why we chose Miami Wynwood. And also to introduce like the space form to this location. There is no space culture in Miami, so for us to be doing it is very unique. So my upbringing was in Melbourne, Florida, where I grew that space culture, and now I'm bringing it with me to Miami, introducing it to hundreds of guests here in Wynwood, and I think that was amazing. In my mind, I'm starting to notice gravity will force you in a direction where your heart is, so no matter what, like you're always going to revolve around the things that you think the most. So I think that I'm connecting with people sort of in a spiritual way.